Hi peeps, in this tutorial we are going to construct gear with help of a lofted cut and a few other commands in the sketch command manager. Also we will use circular pattern from linear pattern down menu and we will start to sketch on front plane. Draw two circles. This one will be 150 millimeters and this one will be 200 millimeters. Exit the sketch and extrude it to make new future. Make it 20 millimeters. Click OK. And here is our profile. Next thing that we are going to do is construct the profile of our gear tooth. So to, to do that, sketch on this face here and draw one half circle. Coincident this point to the circle. Make this point and this point here to be horizontal. Add radius for this half circle of 50 and add one more dimension 10 millimeters. Make this half circle for construction and add one more. Something like this. Exit the sketch. To make the profiles, we need two more planes. To create new plane, go in Fissure Command Manager, Reference Geometry, and click on this point here. For second reference, we'll use the line that we draw. Okay. Same thing for the other plane. Make sure that you unselect everything before you go to select new references for new plane. We will sketch on plane 1 and we will make our first profile. To do that we need few lanes. One center line. We will make mirror. Also, I will add dimension thirty millimeters. This will be three point eight millimeters. This will be four millimeters. And we'll add fillets 0.5 on the edge, on down edges. Okay, okay, exit the sketch. Go and draw on plane 2. Sketch and start new sketch. Again, profiles, profile with lines. Coincident, this line has to be horizontal. It's similar profile. Center line. We will make mirror. Now 45 degree. 3.5 millimeters and this one will be 2.5 millimeters. Also add fillets on these edges here and exit the sketch. OK, exit. Next thing that we are going to do is to use lifted cut command. So click lifted cut. Pick these two profiles for lofted profiles and center line parameters to this line here. Also, we can do this with 
guide curve, but in this case, I want central line parameters. Click OK, and here is our first tooth. To make our other 30 tooth, we will use circular pattern command, cut lofted already selected. For direction, circular pattern direction, we'll use this face here and we'll click just OK. And here is our gear. Hide these two planes. Other thing that we can add here is the central slot and the center ring of the gear. So sketch on front plane again. Start from center point, from origin point. Add one circle like that one. Other one will be 120. This one will be 150. We'll make one center line now. And we will draw one line that will be parallel to the center line. And it will be 8 millimeters from center line. Add mirror. Use trim option. And go in future extrude both base. Pick to extrude this thing 20 millimeters and click OK. We'll change it, maybe we will make it 15 millimeters. And here is it. Other thing that we can do is to add appearance to this future, to this construction, to this gear. I will make it cast carbon steel. This one is okay. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, stay tuned. See you in next video.